Well, hey guys, okay. I'm a dumbass. Alright, now the reason I say I'm a dumbass, I actually ended up making things a bit more simplified on myself. And I'm going to recap on the last video, and I'm going to actually show you how I'm doing this. How I put it to a disc, how I put it into the other computer, and how I copy it, and put it onto my uh, onto a hard drive. Alright, now the reason I say I'm a dumbass, all these years, when I was running the video player into the DVD recorder, uh, I had to use an RF lead, um, which is like an antenna lead, because the, the input and the front here on the right channel, every time I plugged into it, there was a bad buzzing sound. Well, anyway, yesterday I was screwing around a bit more, and I was having the other dramas, and I'm like, why am I having these dramas? So I changed leads over. Anyway, what I did, um, I had the RF going into the back of the DVD recorder and I went HDMI out into this and it fixed it fixed another problem that I was having so that worked I'm like well hang on a minute I'm not using the outputs on the back of this with the uh, RCA's so I went back into the front there's no buzz sound it's the RCA output of the back of the DVD player that you'll plug into a TV or whatever, it's the output that I was having dramas with, not the input. Now that means all my home videos that I'd done about a year ago, year, year or so ago, which took a long time because I got about this many friggin' home video tapes starting right back into the late 80s, there were either half of them were done just in mono or just not very good. So I can, uh, I might have to redo all them because the quality ain't great, and this is much better quality. This, so I've made this blunder myself. Anyway, it's figured out now. Um, I grabbed two movies last night from the site that I'm not going to say where I'm getting it from because I don't want to get into trouble. Um, I'm getting one right now that's not available for me to get elsewhere, and this particular site. I'm under the Australian one at the moment because under the American one there's about two or three movies that says not available in your country. You may know the site I'm talking about but I'm not going to say what it is. So what I'm going to do is today or tomorrow is I'll put a bloody VPN on the computer and I'll have it think I'm in New York, Los Angeles, whatever it'll think I'm there and I'll be able to get them. I already looked it up and it said when you're having trouble playing these specific movies, just put in a VPN. I haven't used a VPN in years, um, so I'll have to do that today. It's only those of you who know with computers what a VPN is. Anyway, what I'll do now is I'll wait for this to be finished, but I'll show you what I do. So what's happening right now, it's running from the computer, going through that, that box that I showed in the previous video, it's recording in here, now when that's done, um, with the rewritable discs, I'll show you how, how this works. Now with the rewritable, you don't just put on a rewritable disc, put it in another computer and hit cut and paste, it doesn't work like that. It's been a long time since I've done this, so I had to figure out last night and remember how to do this. I remembered, I remembered how to do it, but I will show you. But uh, I'll wait for this to be over, and, but then we'll jump over to it, and I'll show you. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing and, and how I go about doing this. So we'll go through the, the process of, of how I do it. I've already recorded one of the movies. Um, now, if anyone knows of a better way to do this, like copying a URL or save file as, or whatever from the, you know particular streaming sites, as I said, I'm not going to say which site I'm using. Um, please let me know. If there's an easier way, that's great. But as far as I know, this is the only way I can figure out on how to um, copy these movies. Apparently, I did look it up. There, Some people do know how to do this. They can download it, as in like a torrent sort of thing. Um, but from everything I looked up, it's so damn hush-hush and so quiet, they're not letting out... Um, how to do this so I've, I've searched everywhere and it all says the same thing anyone who knows is keeping it to themselves and it's nowhere out there on the internet all right so I'll just find my own way which I have done but as I said if anyone knows of a better way please let me know okay now the movie 
I'll exp in case you didn't see the previous video, I'll explain how this is, just quickly. Um, HDMI lead comes out of the computer, goes into this, uh, you'll have to look at the other video, but this converter box, which is HDMI in, and RCA out. So the RCA out leads go into a DVD recorder. Then I've just got HDMI out of here, into the amp so I can hear and see what's going on. All right, so first things first, you get a um, DVD um, rewritable disc. So one of these, which aren't common anymore. So you put your rewritable disc in, and I don't know if there's anything on this, I don't think so, but I will format this disc anyway, before then copying, copy, gah, copying it. Yeah, that would. All right, what I'll do here is I'll, I'll actually show you, uh, if I go into the, the menu, where it says title list, this is bef before uh, formatting the disc. If I go to title list, there are two movies in there that I've already, say, recorded. That one and that one, so I just hit uh, play, away it'll go. There we go. There's no sound because I've turned the amp down. But that's uh, the first one I've got to copy and then I've got a second one I've got to copy. So, I'll get out of that. I said I'll get out of that, hello. Doesn't want to. Now, what I need to do is over here, I think that's where it's, uh, it's, I've only done this once, and I can't remember how to do it, so I think it's in dubbing, nope, that's not it. All right, so what we'll do here, we'll get into the formatting of the DVD rewritable. Now, uh, keep in mind with this particular recorder, the discs have to be uh, a DVD rewritable plus or plus RW. You can get plus and minus. This particular one is plus. If I put a minus in there, it won't read it. I don't know why. It's like the whole RAM discs and that, and it's a complete pain. But uh, I got a couple of plus ones. So, oh, ha! <laughs> Someone was pointing down at the TV, it won't work. <laughs> okay, so we got a disc set up. Down here it says format. Format, rewritable, so it says there plus RW, so that it won't do a minus. And it'll take one minute to format, and it'll format that disc and wipe it clean. And then I can then copy the movie onto the disc. So we'll come back when that's done. Okay, now the uh, the disc has been formatted, so now what I want to do is throw it onto, throw the movie onto the disc. So we go into the setup. For some reason, yep, it's already gone straight over to dubbing, so I select dubbing. All right, now you want hard disk drive to DVD. That's exactly what we want, not the other way around. Now I hit create new dubbing list because use preview dubbing list was when you split things, so like if they're in chapters. We don't want that, just straight recording. Okay, now that's the, the first one I did. I did two movies on that one first. High speed dubbing, yes. Next, it's that one. Next, and start dubbing. I can stop it if I want to. Now this will take about um, 10 minutes to burn it onto the disc, and then we'll then move over to the next step. Okay, well I can see that it's finished. So it's finished burning that movie over. So now we'll get the disc out. Whenever it's ready, go. Uh, now, we need to swing over to my jukebox computer because that is the only computer I have that has a DVD drive in it or Blu-ray, DVD, whatever. None of the other computers in the house, because they're all a lot newer, don't have DVD nor Blu-ray um, burners, drivers, they don't have any of that. So I have to use the jukebox computer. Okay, so here we are over here at my uh, jukebox computer. I just put the disc in the side there. Did I just put that in the right way? I think so, yeah. Um, now while it's reading that, the next step is for the, if you want to do this, you must have a program called DVD Shrink. Um, years ago, you would use this maybe if you wanted to copy um, a DVD, you would use Shrink. You can't just open it up and do uh, copy paste. 
You can do that with a Blu-ray disc. You can't do that with DVDs. If you want to know how to do that with a Blu-ray disc, go have a look on YouTube. You'll see it's really, really simple. Basically, you open up the disc. You find the biggest file, cut, paste. Uh, I mean, copy, paste, done. All right. Okay, so I've just gone into uh, my computer. Bring you over here. Okay, now uh, I'm assuming you guys can see this. That's the disc there. Now if I, um, not that. If I open this, that's what you see. There's uh, video slash VM and video slash TS. That won't help us in any way. If I open that, you get a whole bunch of doodads and the movie split in three or four different ways. That's with both of these files. I don't even know what this is, it's something or other, who cares, doesn't matter. So what you need to do, you open up DVD Shrink, it'll get there in a minute. Okay, so this is DVD Shrink, now up here there's a thing that says open disc, so you open the disc, yes, and it'll scan the disc and open it up. So if you had a Blu-ray or anything like that, every single file on there would be in here. Okay button up here that says reauthor. Now for some reason when I'm burning these it puts the movie on there twice. It's the exact same file. I don't know why it's on there twice. I wonder if we can uh, get in and have a look. <clears throat> okay it's hard for me to tell. I, I think you can see this but anyway. So I oh know I just grab the bottom one. I drag and drop it over here. Now if I get, go into compression settings you can see up here it actually says AC3 to channel. Now remember I said this will only do it in stereo. If it was DDS or Dolby Digital or whatever, it would say that. But this is only in um, two channel. Then you got compression, you got automatic compression or no compression. I always select no, select no compression. I mean, I wasn't going to compress anyway because the file size isn't big enough for that. Then basically all I need to do is I back it up. Right, it's going to go to a folder on the desktop, do that, and there she goes. It'll take about maybe half an hour, but it'll back up. Then we'll go over to the next step. Okay, well, as we, oh shit, hang on. Uh, as we can see here, it's, I know it's on a bit of an angle, uh, but it's finished. So it's finished backing up. Now the next step. All right, so she's done. Uh, it took about eight minutes, so that's that's fine. All right, so now that's complete. That's all done. Now that's, I put that in a file here. Now if we have a look here, there are multiple files. So I'll bring you in. All right, so as we can see, there are, what is it? Five, one, two, three, four, five. Five files. The bottom one down here is the biggest one. That's the movie. All this other stuff is like metadata, media files, and all that. Just select those four, which are the smallest ones. Delete them. You don't need them. Then the next step, it says VTS slash 01 slash 1 dot Bob. Well, for a start, I'm going to put the name of the movie in. You go to rename it. Where it says Bob, get rid of Bob. And change it to MPG. Then it'll ask, say if you change the file, blah blah blah, might be unstable, which it's not, and just hit yes. And now it will play in VLC player or you know whatever player. The other way, you'll have a lot of dramas, so just change it to Bob. I'll go ahead and change the name of this movie or what it's called. Uh, all right then, so I've gone ahead. It's been renamed, changed to MPEG. If I double click on that. This is an older computer, so it'll take a bit, but it'll just go ahead and it'll start playing. And there we go. She's playing. Simple as that. Okay, the camera died on me, so I have no idea what I was uh, saying. I just charged it a little bit. Anyway, I think what I was saying was, uh, yeah, you would only go through this this amount of, you know, crap uh, if this was something you were into, um, because if you wanted to initially start up doing this, it wouldn't be cheap, because you would need to go and get, unless you had one, you would need to go and get a DVD recorder, 
you need to have this little box up here that, that converts HDMI to RCA. Um, so yeah, it's only if you're a bit of a freak like me. Freak like me, isn't it a song? Anyway, um, you would uh, bother to do all of this. But uh, if it is something you're interested in, uh, I hope this video helped. If you are, you know, looking out for stuff like me. And as I said before, if anyone knows of a better way or a way to do this from streaming sites, please let me know. If I could avoid doing this and just copy URL, download, great. That would be fantastic because then I would at least get digital sound. Um, so it's not digital sound, it's two channel, but you can most, you know, newer amps, you can change it over to, to force it to go into say, at least 5.1. But a lot of these movies are just dramas and things like that that I want that I can't get anywhere else. Anyway guys, alright, I hope this helps if this is what you were into, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye guys.